Good evening. It's Tuesday. I think it's the 12th of May. And um, this is a Tuesdaycast. And there's a new episode of Mystery Road. So I actually won't hang around here for too long. I was thinking about what I have been, actually been watching and reading. Um, pretty much every day I read ABC and The Guardian and um, The New York Times um, to catch up on the news. There's been a lot of really interesting news, um, but it's heaps at the moment. Um, and um, today I, I was reading a little bit of my book. Uh, this is Drunk Tank Pink by Adam Alter. And one, one thing I really love about this book, aside from the fact that it's, it's all really fascinating stuff about people's motivations and how it, the, sub, the subtitle is how s the subconscious forces that shape how we think, feel and behave but the way I really love about it is that the the um the the buy quote at the top is the best science book I've read all year, and I love that because I think that's that's really awesome because it implies that this person, this Malcolm Gladwell person, has read many <laughs> science books in the past year, and uh, I think that's fair to say that's not completely common, but it's it's an endearing pull quote nonetheless. Um, I. Uh, I really loved the first season of um, <clears throat> Top of the Lake, the Jane Campion TV series with Elizabeth Moss. Um, I thought the first season was excellent and I started watching the second season and it was just really kind of like fatty and like not, I, I'm not sure if it will successfully pick up the pace. It's got some great people in it, but it's it, it beggars belief a little bit and um, it lacks at this point that, that I'm at, it lacks a hook to hook you in. So I really do want to find out what happens to the China girl. But if I have to sit through another monologue from Nicole Kidman about how great Jermaine Greer was, I'm not watching anymore. Just like, no deal. <laughs> so there's that. But um, I'm heartened by the, the there being another episode of Mystery Road for me to catch up with. That's great. Um... In the house we've been watching Bluey and started watching Pablo which um, and the Magic School Bus. My son absolutely loves the Magic School Bus. He thinks it's great. Um, yeah, we've just had an announcement here in Victoria that schools will reopen which is um, you know going to affect me personally a great deal and um, it was pretty relevant news. Um, you know the, the investigation into how the Ruby Princess was allowed to dock in Sydney and spread all those cases of coronavirus is ongoing. Um, Trump is behaving like a spoiled child again still, but I'm really interested to see what will happen with Anthony Fauci's unsupervised testimony. I think it's to the, is it the Senate? He's testifying to somebody about the, the COVID, the COVID handling in the United States, which as we know, is just, you know, catastrophic. So yeah, I'm still catching up with my Colbert, my lovely Colbert. Um, I did watch all of Fleabag, which I think I mentioned last week. Um, I have discovered a new love in the form of, I think his name is Craig Heffernan. He makes these um, videos about, he's like a carpenter. He makes these videos about making outdoor decking in Pennsylvania and he keeps talking about like the frost line, how you've got to make sure that your, your, your footings, you've got to be mindful of that frost line. So that's really relaxing to watch. I enjoy that a lot. Um, I'm trying to learn how to do watercolours. I've, I've got my watercolour set, but I don't really have any of the right brushes, you know, that hold enough water. Sorry, it's my Apple Pencil. Hold enough water to uh, to do it. And I'm hoping that, you know, I'll keep going with it. It'd be really nice to get back into the studio and keep doing some stuff and... You know, but in a way, I'm kind of really, really hesitant about going back to my life, like normal life. I'm not particularly keen. My my daughter's really looking forward to going back to school, seeing her friends, and I get that. That's 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 yeah, I understand that. So I, I guess it's really like everybody's being affected by this differently, and um, you know, my my experience of it is far from the worst. So you know. I can't complain. I won't. So, but 
I did manage to come back. I'm sorry this is short. This is just a bit of a placeholder. You can see that I need a haircut pretty badly. But, um, yeah. Take care of yourself. And I will see you next Tuesday.